Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the three ways to know you're in the relation, right relationship. There's three ways to know it. Okay, uh, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the bell and hit the subscribe so you can uh, get notified of new content. I shoot about three or four videos per week. All right, those three ways to know you're in the right relationship. Okay, I'm gonna make a little bit of a joke here today because those three ways are the exact same thing. Kind of like, have you ever heard the phrase, what's the, um, when it comes to real estate, what are the three most important things? When it comes to real estate, it's location, location, location. And in relationship, it's the same thing. It's if you have to analyze the relationship, there's the big problem. So right off the bat, if you're watching this video about a relationship you're in, you might already have a problem, okay? Because if you're analyzing the relationship, analyzing the relationship, analyzing the relationship, if you're constantly analyzing the relationship, then chances are you're not in a good relationship. So if you're concerned, if you're not in a good relationship, I've got three books I wanna recommend for you today. Well, technically it's gonna be four books because first off, I want you to check in with yourself. One of the most important things when it comes to romantic love is your own sovereignty, your own power, and not giving your power away to another human being. Often, ladies, oftentimes I see this from you. You're giving your power to men. You're adopting this philosophy or this, this need of, I need you to love me for me to feel good about myself. I need you to love me for me to feel good about myself. So I really want to encourage an embracing self-love, self-love. And if you're not familiar with my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway, written by Jonathan Asley, check out the link below. It's called selflovethebook.com because it starts within. Three ways to know you're in the right relationship. It first starts within because when you are actually don't need to analyze the relationship, because you're in your sovereignty, you're in your power, you can have clarity. And clarity builds confidence and confidence builds better choices. Remember those three things. Clarity builds confidence, clarity builds confidence, confidence builds better choices. So I wanna help you. If you feel that, if you are analyzing the relationship, I wanna introduce you to a new book. I just purchased this, I just got it a few days ago. I just started skimming it, so I'm not fully familiar with it, but it's called Too Good to Leave, Too Bad to Stay. Good, Too Good to Leave, Too Bad to Stay, okay? Now, not all of you are in a relationship, but what I like about what I've skimmed through the book so far, it's actually a template for choosing the right guy and actually knowing if you're in the right relationship or not. Because ultimately, you have to, there are a lot of clues. You know, it's interesting. Let me pause for a second. I've talked to hundreds of women who have gone through a breakup. And it's fascinating to me how many say the same thing. I knew in the first, second, or third week something was off, but I went against my better judgment. I went against my better judgment. And so if you've ever, have you ever experienced that before? Have you ever gone against your better judgment? Please post a comment below. I want to hear about it. Also, if you have questions, please post it below. I read almost every single one that comes through and I do my best to respond. So feel free to post a question regarding this topic. Because here's the thing. Those women who went against their better judgment, this is what I'm trying to educate you on, is to make better choices. And it starts with clarity. And there's another fantastic book. I've mentioned this tons and tons of times. It's by Barbara DeAngelis. Are you the right one for me? Are you the right one for me? This is a fantastic book. And look at how thick that is. I got to tell you, as a coach, I refer to this book regularly to um, actually mostly to help me with fodder for shooting these videos. But there's so much great content in understanding human behavior, understanding the mechanics of another human being. And whether you're a man or woman, men should be reading this too, because this isn't singular to trying to figure out if it's the right man. Men should be reading this too. Guys, I wanna tell you, if you're watching this video, buy this book. It's gonna make a difference in your life. Because choosing a good, look at, what's it? Esther Perel says, the quality of our life 
is a representation of the quality of our relationships. <sighs> Breathe that in. The quality of our life is the representation of the quality of our relationships. By the way, she didn't say it exactly like that. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but the point is the quality of your relationships, both your, your professional relationships, your personal relationships, your intimate relationships, will vastly affect the quality of your life. So one of the things I do as a coach, and um, if, if you're interested in coaching with me, check out the link to schedule a free discovery call. Because one of the things I do as a coach is I help teach you how to vet for the right guy, how to vet for emotionally available men. Let me reframe that. Emotionally mature men. If you haven't listened to my podcast, The Five Signs of Emotional Maturity, please check it out. Um, I talk about it. Check out the other videos. I talk about this frequently because emotional maturity is so critically important because when a man is emotionally mature, you're not analyzing the relationship over and over again. And if you haven't watched the video I just shot, it's called The Four Things Men Do, Only Do When They Really Love You. That really gives you insight into the men that are going to lean into relationship. And if you need additional support and help uh, understanding men, then I highly, this is the three things, I highly check, recommend you check out the book called Queen's Code by Alison Armstrong, The Queen's Code, another thick book. She gives so much great insight. Alison is fantastic in helping women understand men. Now, she comes at it from a slightly different perspective than I do but I totally support her work. My work comes from being down the rabbit hole with many of you, gone through divorce, I've gone through a lot of the emotional stuff, I've had a significant relationship, I'm in the trenches there with you, so I get it. Um, so I understand men a little bit different from the surface level, but I highly recommend checking out Allison's book. I've recommended three great books, Too Good to Leave, Too Bad to Stay, Are You the Right One for Me, and The Queen's Code. These are all should be in your repertoire to know if you're in the right relationship with a guy. And if you are constantly analyzing, 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 chances are you might not be in the right relationship. Ah, Hey, I hope this had value. Please post a comment below if it resonated with you. And if you need additional support, check out the links in the description for more support from me. I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give, me, give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now.